Okay, here's a new little um, web API application. It is based on an idea from this group, Averlight's programmers users. Rob wrote something yesterday and asked whether it's possible for version 12 of version 15 to connect a second screen to a quartz and um, put the um, QLIS window there. Well, it, there's no really a QLIS window, but uh, you can get put a playback window there and read the cues. Like for a bigger theater show where it's useful if you have someone there to read the cues for you. And I suggested uh, to make this as a web API, which shouldn't be too complicated. And here it goes. And this is what I did. So essentially, it's really only one file index HTM. Um, in the files folder, there's only my little to do list, a private one. So it's only the index. Here is how it looks like. So it's just a couple of JavaScript. Um, functions and a little HTML and some styling. Okay, and here is how it works. So, I, uh, at the moment I'm running on the same PC. I start from scratch as always. We go to disk, start a new show. This is my little web API application and I connect to localhost and click on test IP get queue lists. It reads that we have the unsaved show and this select is uh, empty because at the moment there are no queue lists in there. So we record our first queue list, record one, three, there and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven queues in there. Okay, and we get our queue list again, simply update it. Get QLIS, and here it says our QLIS number one has seven queues. Open it, our first queue, and change the legion. Um, first queue. Okay, and you saw even while I was um, writing, it already changed. What the, uh, what the web API shows. Now I'm looking, yeah, here we go, notes, here we go. Notes, second queue, notes, and again, you see, at, while I type, it already updates here. Notes of queue number two. Okay, here we go. So this is essentially how it works. We can record a second queue list. Here we go. Put it there. And one, two, three, four queues in there. Exit. And set the legion of the new queue list and give it a name. Second queue list. You may already have guessed it. You have to press get queue lists again. And now we can select which queue list to show. There we go. And now in the second queue list, of course, we can open it um, and change something here. So, like this one is our third queue. And it reads third queue in our QList viewer. Two more little things. We can also connect to any other Titan console in the network. So I have a Quartz sitting beside me and uh, running. It has some QLists in there and I know the IP address. 192.168.1.180. Enter and test IP get QLists. Still, it is an unsaved show on the quartz, but it has two completely different queue lists. You see it here. So this is my little quartz. So I can uh, even view different, uh, several 
um, consoles in there. And the last thing I wanted to mention is all these requests require a little security thing. You have to allow cores. So there is a little um, plugin you can use on many browsers which is called allow cores. Cores is something against cross-site request forgery, but of course you need to disable or at least loosen this in order to make these requests work. You can even click on the link. This is where you can download the plugin for many users. So it is available for Chrome, for Opera, for Firefox and for the Internet Explorer. Essentially it's just allowing the um, requests. So that's all I wanted to show you. Have fun and maybe you can get some feedback and tell me whether this is useful or not. Thanks in advance.